Hi, Flavia. So we've got more essays from you. Good. Happy to see them. Let's take a look at what you had to say. Okay, the first one is about the age difference of parents. Here's what you wrote. Uh, experts wrote both the here, the developing and developed world have debated whether with an H it is, no, whether it is best, take out the if here, to have children at a younger age or with an R, if it would be better to wait longer to become a parent. Some believe the sooner someone starts their family, the better it would be with two T's. I personally strongly agree, double L. This essay will argue that having children at a, in a, mature, at a mature age, more mature is how we say this, is far more beneficial for both parents, no E, and children using examples from UK government to demonstrate points and prove P-R-O-V-E arguments. Okay. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that waiting longer to have children is advantageous. The central reason behind this is twofold. Full stop here. Firstly, parents, without the E, have time to build a solid career. Uh, therefore, they can provide the children a better life conditions, yes. Secondly, um, what do you mean by this? They can provide better life conditions. Do you mean um, that they could provide what exactly? Um, more wealth, more education, more time with their children. So when you say something that's better life conditions, you really do need to explain it. Secondly, they are more mature and more capable of understanding uh, a child's apostrophe s needs and behaviors. Therefore, dealing with them would not only be easier, but also more constructive as they can have greater participation in children's lives and build a relationship based, uh, based on confidence and support. Okay, for example, recent empirical with an E research from UK government demonstrated that 90% of English women with an E that became with an A, mothers at the age of 30 or older developed a supportive and trusting relationship with their children while this number is about 55% among the other mothers. It must not be forgotten also uh, the fact that elder parents usually have a stable marriage, which is an important reference during the child's development, the children's development. Okay, spelling errors here. Parents is wrong. Uh, which is wrong and important is wrong. Um, okay. Uh, what I would have liked is a conclusive statement here, just saying something along the lines that... Um, Therefore, there are num numerous benefits to being an older parent. On the other hand, although there are benefits to waiting longer to start a family, some issues should be uh, not outweighed, but uh, some uh, issues should be considered. For example, new sentence, it is not rare for elder parents uh, not to have the necessary energy to keep up with their little ones. Um, which can make this job exhausting. Another counterpoint is that due to their age, they might not be able to enjoy their grandchildren when they have one. Okay, um, well, that's a little short for a full paragraph. Um, you really should have developed it more. I mean, just in terms, visually, look at this. I mean, you've got like four lines for this and you've got one and a half lines for this. So. However you develop this one, you need to try to develop this one in a relatively equal way, okay? So you definitely needed to do more work here. From the, arg from the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that the benefits of waiting longer to have children far outweigh, no T, the drawbacks. Therefore, it is greatly recommended for couples to firstly structure their lives and only then start a family due to the benefits this action provides uh, with an S for parents, no E, and children. Okay, so, uh, fine. What you needed to do, however, Flavia, was reverse the order of these paragraphs. Since this is the one that you side with more, it has to go second. This one has to go first. But again, I said that you really, really, really need to develop this more. And also, there are spelling errors um, all over the place, like in every sentence. And so, that's really distracting for the reader. Be careful. Please try to be more aware of the spelling and try to correct it, okay? Let's look now at your task one. All right, let's see. 
The given pie chart illustrates a percentage of preference in different academic matters in New South Wales in the years 2000, of 2014 and 2017, respectively. You didn't need respectively. There's no reason. You're not showing any data, so it's no big deal here. Overall, comma, biology, physics, maths, and geography had the greater preference among students in 2014 and remained popular together with history in 2017. On here, the other hand, IT and chemistry were the most no, were the least popular in the period shown. History had the most significant change with its popularity growth. No, with its popularity growing from 1.2 to 19.9, 19.4. Fine. While some popular subjects like math and geography lost some of the students' interest from 2014 to 2017, others such as biology and history, uh, history and biology. Increasing popularity in the same period. PE, which needs an H, had 8.7 of the teachers' pupils' preference in 2014, lost more than 50% of its popularity, with only capital here. With only 3.2% of students taking it as an option. Oh, no, no, no. Comma, okay, fine. IT and chemistry were very unpopular back in 2014, with 1.2 and 1% of the preference, respectively. But while the preference for IT remained stable, nobody liked chemistry at all in 2014. All right, um, that's pretty good. Uh, I feel I'm not really 100% positive. I have to kind of look over everything. I do get this feeling that there's some missing information. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Yeah, you mentioned it all. Um, there's just something happening where I just feel like maybe could have given a little more information. You know what a lot of people do? They think that just because they discuss something in the overview, they don't have to discuss it again. You do have to discuss it again in your detailed paragraph. However, you have to do it with details, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, it looks pretty good. I didn't really, really super check closely to make sure that you've included everything, but I have a feeling from what I saw here that you did include most of the important data. So nice job with this. Now what you need to do obviously is correct them, add the errors to your error correction list, and send back new essays, okay? We're here, we're waiting for them, so good luck with your next writing assignment.